While considerable attention has been devoted to the needs of cultural, recreational, and entertainment assets in Milwaukee County, there is little understanding about how public dollars are used to pay for similar amenities in suburban counties and whether similar unmet needs have emerged. To increase understanding of that issue, in February 2015, the Public Policy Forum released Open Spaces, Cultural Places, a report examining culture and recreation funding in Waukesha, Ozaki, and Washington counties. The report was guided by three primary research questions. First, how much do county governments spend to support culture and recreation in the wild counties? Second, what are the financial and infrastructure challenges facing publicly owned assets in those counties? And third, would privately owned assets in the wild counties benefit from new sources of funding? We found that collectively in 2014 budgets, the three counties budgeted $16.5 million in expenditures for operations in the culture and recreation function. Of that amount, about $6.4 million derived from the local property tax levy. Starting now county by county, we see that Waukesha County, which is the largest of the three wild counties with a total budget of $209 million and a property tax levy of about $99 million, spent about $5.6 million of those local property tax levy resources on its parks and land use function. Waukesha County offers a wide array of amenities and assets for its citizens. And when we look at total expenditures, we see that parks, golf courses, ice arenas were the leading recipients of public monies. The report also delves into five-year capital plans for the three counties. In Waukesha County, we identified $9.7 million worth of capital funding needs over the next five years. Turning now to Ozaki County, whose budget totaled $83 million in 2014, with a budgeted property tax levy of $19.5 million, we see only about $150,000 of property tax levy resources devoted to the natural resources function. In terms of overall expenditures, however, far more dollars allocated for amenities such as golf courses, parks, fish passage projects, and the Ozaki County Fairgrounds. With regard to Ozaki County's projected five-year capital needs, about $4.1 million. Washington County has a total budget of $120 million in 2014. Of that amount, $36 million derived from the property tax levy and $1.5 million of that local property tax dedicated to culture and recreation. Washington County spreads out its expenditures among parks, golf courses, an historical society, the Washington County Fair Park. Those are the major recipients of public dollars. In terms of five-year capital projections, about $2.2 million in identified needs over the next five years. The report also looks at three distinct privately owned cultural organizations, one in each of the three counties. We examine the Sharon Lynn Wilson Center for the Arts, located in Brookfield. We take a look at the Ozaki County Historical Society, which is headquartered in Cedarburg. And we examine the Museum of Wisconsin Art, located in West Bend in Washington County. Overall, we leave with four primary conclusions. The first is that there does not appear to be a pressing need for a new source of public funding to support county government's provision of recreation and culture services in the WOW counties. Each of the three county governments has kept annual property tax increases to a minimum, enjoys healthy reserves, maintains modest debt loads. These are all indicators of strong overall fiscal health that suggest new or enhanced public funding sources are not a necessity. Our second observation involved the private cultural organizations in the wild counties. And there we felt that they could benefit from opportunities for grant funding from a new public funding source. While all three organizations are in solid fiscal condition, each has aspirations to improve its facilities in ways that could substantially enhance the visitor experience and maximize earned revenue. Unfortunately, those aspirations may be challenging to fulfill within existing revenue structures. Consequently, each could benefit from access to competitive grants, for example, if a regional public funding source were pursued. Our third observation was that capital planning in the Wow County should serve as a model for Milwaukee County. 
Our review of capital improvements planning in the Wild Counties revealed several important practices that Milwaukee County leaders might wish to emulate. Examples include efforts to diligently assess the condition of county assets and plan improvements well in advance of necessary appropriations, and efforts to strategically anticipate and mix the use of various resources based on the prioritization and timing of key projects. Our final observation was that need is not the only reason to consider the use of non-property tax public resources to support recreation and culture in the wild counties. Again, there is not a pressing need for additional public support for culture and recreation in those counties, but the ability to draw resources from a regional culture and entertainment sales tax, for example, could allow each government to replace property tax levy funding. We found that more than $6 million in local property tax is spent annually to support recreation and culture in the wild counties, and those funds could be returned to taxpayers or redirected to other priorities if a new funding source were put into place. We hope you'll read the full report at our website, publicpolicyforum.org, or through our Facebook page or Twitter feed.